Hi everybody, um, I'm back with a long overdue um, Hobonichi Weeks flip flu because um, life is <laughs> life went a bit crazy over the summer. Hang on, I'm just finding my page, um, and so I wasn't really doing my usual weeks decoration, which I will explain um, as we go. So I think the last week I shared with you was this week, which was in. June. <laughs> it's now the end of October. Um, so after this week, which I shared with you, I, I did a little bit of a setup of this one, and this is obviously what it looks like finished. Um, so I had fun this week, definitely. There's probably a few extra stickers, a few bit, you know, bits more writing on here since you saw it last. Um, so I had fun with this one. And then the next week, again, I managed to have a bit of fun. I used um, this really nice Blythe doll washi tape I found in a shop. Um, and this pen, I love this colour. It's just like a really random beigey, browny, grey colour. But I, I, what I did is I got a... Um, sorry, going off on a tangent here. I got one of these um, watercolour brushes. I don't know if you've seen these before. Um... You fill this part with water and then they have a brush tip. And the idea being that you um, you fill them with water and then you can use it to paint with watercolours. But what I actually did is I put some ink in there. And I think I mixed like a grey ink with um, like a yellowy watercolour. It's a really good idea. So I recommend trying that if you have one of these. Um, if you just want to have sort of a, a brushy, it's like a brush, you can make your own brush pens basically. With whatever ink you want to put in. Seems to work. I think it has to be quite runny, runny ink, but, um... Oh, look, I've just done a lovely blob on the page. Never mind. Let me just dab that away. Again, apologies, I am poorly, so I sound a bit stuffy. I will try so hard not to sniff, because I know that's really annoying. Okay. <clears throat> so. So this page was sort of a Blythe. <laughs> Blythe doll theme. Um, there's a few extra little stickers here. These are still those gorgeous. I love that. I absolutely love them. The um, I think they're mid -oddy. I think I shared them before. The mid -oddy. There's not many left now. Look, sort of. This is the sort of the interior one, and then there's the stationary one. I think the stationary one is the one that um, Mitt's included in her stationary selection recently. They're absolutely gorgeous. I I love them. I want to get some more. Because, like she says, they're very thin and fine, and they have a lovely papery texture to them. So they don't, you know, add bulk particularly. So, yeah, that's what these ones are. Plus a bit of doodling. Um, so the next page in July is actually one of my stickers. Um, hang on one second. Okay, so, so Mitts, from My Life Mitts, actually asked me to... Um, send us some designs to go in one of the stationary selection boxes I think this was June or July I can't remember I'm sorry um, <laughs> but I did a sort of a postal um, postage theme airmail um, so I've got things like um, hot air balloons carrying letters and, and that's the one I've used um, and I tried to obviously do slightly Japanesey themes with the koi carp and pigeons delivering letters. Um, yeah, so that's what this sticker here is. Um, <coughs> but uh, what happened this week? Obviously, <laughs> didn't do much down here. Um, oh yes, my husband came from Mexico, and when he's here, my usual obviously routine goes a bit sort of out the window, and we sort of. I sort of take a break from all of my journaling -y bits to a certain extent because I don't get so much time to myself. Ooh, super camera wobble, I'm sorry, hang on. Um, so, so the next few pages are, like, he's here, I don't get time to decorate particularly because we're busy doing things and I don't, you know, have so much me time, as it were, which is fine, obviously. Um, so what I do is I just, I kind of go down to minimal mode and I'm just literally writing down if I remember to what we did each day just in case I need to refer back to it so the next few weeks and then obviously he's in he's in Japan here so 
the next few leagues are very minimal, not just anything on, no decoration. And then he went back to Mexico, and then my son and I flew to England. So then the next few pages are the same, really just like writing down what we did each day, just so that in case I forget. Um, I did a little bit of decoration on this day because one of the things I like to take advantage of when I go back to England is to be able to order things on Etsy. Um, I find when I try and order things on Etsy to come to Japan, the shipping costs quoted are absolutely ridiculous. Like, So if, we, if I say it in pounds, for example, if I want to buy a sticker sheet for two pounds... To come from America, it's anywhere between £16 and £20 postage, which I know it can't be right, but it's so common for all of the American sellers to have that, that I can't, I almost can't be bothered to email them all and say, can you give me a proper shipping cost? Can you give me a proper shipping cost? Um, so I just don't buy from American sellers usually when I'm living in Japan. Obviously, London Gifties is based in England, so shipping from England to England was lovely and reasonable so I treated myself to some London gifty stickers while I was there and I got um autumn themed ones and Christmas themed ones sort of to prepare me so I'll just show you I mean I've used the autumn ones you'll see them later but these are the two um sort of Christmassy themed ones I got so do look out for London gifties on um Etsy if you haven't come across already and um, so I've got those saved for the sort of more Christmassy, wintry months. I think I might use these ones in November because they're sort of all tummy, aren't they? And then those ones I can use for December. So that's exciting. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I opened her the like little sticker haul I did then. Oh, that's one of hers as well, I think. And her washi paper tape. So again, just sort of bare minimal, sort of just scribbling things down as we go. And then we flew back to Japan. And the first week we got back, obviously I was really jet-lagged. I sort of made <laughs> sort of a vague effort to decorate this week. Um, but the jet lag is sort of pretty crazy, especially with a, a four-year-old as well. Um, so the next few weeks, again, are still not so exciting visually. But I'll just say that... Um, you know, I think the, one of the things I really like about this is that it's just, it's reflecting my actual life. I don't have the aim to have gorgeous papers, gorgeous papers, gorgeous um, decoration on every week. Like, I'm, it, I don't feel bad about it at all because basically this is reflecting my life. And these weeks in my life were very hectic and very sort of like, um, I didn't have a chance to decorate. So that's what they are, you know, that's totally fine. I don't have a problem with that. And when I have a chance and time and I feel like decorating, then I do. So, <laughs> excuse the sniffing. Oh, now these stickers, I think, I think I got them as a freebie from another order that I placed while I was in England. I'll just show you these ones. And this is from the Ginger Cat Company, which I believe, I have to check. Are they American? British. I have to have a look. But they're on Etsy as well. And um, I got, again, I got sort of like autumn-themed ones there. And then I also got some sort of Christmassy ones. So I'm excited to use those as we get into December. They're really lovely. So do look for Ginger Cat Company on Etsy. <coughs> um, and then this really was the sort of the first week I... I sort of felt like I was getting back into my groove a little bit. Um, so these are the London Gifty stickers and these are the Midoddy stickers. Um, this is a sticker my son stuck on. He said it was a well done sticker and he stuck it on here for me, which was nice. <laughs> um, plus some sort of vintage retro stickers from my um, paper geisha shop there. Um, so yeah, I sort of went for a sort of a greeny browny theme. Um, this bit makes me laugh. <laughs> I did my accounts. Um, hang on. Accounts. And I'm saying, ah, oh, not good. You have no money. You spend it all on pens, which is kind of true. I did well. I didn't spend it all on pens. I bought some pens this week, which um, was my sort of treat. I hadn't bought stationery for a while. Um, but then, <laughs> illness struck towards the end of the week my son got really poorly and it was a very very difficult couple of weeks with him being really quite ill and going to the hospital and not great so again this is not 
you know, beautifully done. This I love. I mean, we went to it when he was, he was having a good day. We actually went out to um, shopping. And my son obviously loves stickers as much as I do. And we saw these and he also loves cats. And um, so we decided to get them these pottery and cat stickers. Um, and I managed to I managed to keep hold of this one, <laughs> but the other one he took off and he he said he was going to share them, but he just literally stuck them all down on a piece of paper. And then, but very cute, very sweet. He cut, stuck them all down and um, cut them all up, and then gave them back to me and said, "Here you are." So I've got these. I ha now have some beautiful collage pieces, courtesy of my gorgeous son. So I can stick these wherever I want now. So that was kind of cute. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So anyway, after a couple of hard weeks of him being poorly, he finally got a bit better, and he went back to nursery again. So I then had a bit more time again to myself to kind of get on with things. Um, so again, the decoration came back. Um, so yeah, we've got um, the London Gifty stickers, the Midori stickers. Um, some random packaging. This one is actually the Christmas countdown stickers from the Ginger Cat Company. I've I've used them all. I stuck them all down, so I don't have the sticker sheet to show you. Obviously, that those are from the Ginger Cat Company. Um, but then, yeah, and then this is this week. I I'm not <laughs> I'm not really a Halloweeny person, to be perfectly honest. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of humour it, and I think, well, okay. <laughs> Halloween let's uh, uh let's do the Halloween thing because my son seems to like it um he's sort of he's getting to the age now where he can sort of deal with a tiny bit of scary but it has to be kind of cute scary still um so I bought this washi tape um I actually was making him a bento box and um a bento lunch box um for his nursery and I didn't, I couldn't find any. They have these like cute little picks, like sticks that you can put in to make it pretty. And I didn't have any Halloween ones. So I bought washi tape and I made, I got like a normal cocktail stick and made it into a little sort of like flag thing. Um, and then I obviously had all of the washi tape left. So I, I shoved a little bit in. I'm sort of like, yeah, I'm making an effort. I'm trying to be Halloween-y, trying to get into it. Um, and then I sort of decorated with the dot pens. Um I've got to say, has anybody else got these dot, what are they called? The play colour dots. I really love the idea of it. Um, like, you have the, hang on, I'm trying to focus. You have the dot on one end. Um, but I don't know, they're just, they're just, they're not working for me on the Hobonichi paper because they're just too sort of inky. They sort of leave a quite a bit of a blob, so I'm not really sure. I don't think I will get them again, only because I well, I do most of my drawing and decorating on Hobonichi Tamwe River paper, so I'm not sure about them really. <coughs> um, anyway, so this is my <laughs> attempt at a Halloweeny spread. As you can see, I'm ill, ill. It's just been sort of like the past few months, I'm not going to moan, but the past few months have just been sort of a bit exhausting, really. We have extreme heat during the summer in Japan, which makes me feel quite poorly and exhausted. And then we went to England and we had to deal with jet lag both ways. And then we came back and then my son was ill. And then now I'm ill again because the weather suddenly or it feels like it just skips autumn, doesn't bother with autumn and goes straight from extreme heat and extreme humidity straight into cold and dry and dry can be quite difficult on the um sinuses so anyway apologies for not sharing earlier all my pages but as you can see it's all been a bit sort of uh not very pretty not very pretty to look at but i'm hoping that sharing this with you to show you that like i don't care if i don't have pretty pages on every week um will help somebody because I think some people put that pressure on themselves that they really ought to have like gorgeous pages every week and if they do a week and they miss it or it's blank they feel bad but you know this is ref this is reflecting your life and nobody's life is the same every week nobody's I just feel like life goes up and down for everybody and your your 
Robert Nietzsche's your diaries, your plans will reflect that, and that's what they should be doing. Um, because that's you know the truth, isn't it? So yeah, this is what I have so far. Um, this is today, actual Halloween today. Um, so from tomorrow we start November. So my plan for November is to sort of use these gorgeous London gifties, um, stickers and the Ginger Cat Company stickers, and sort of spend November doing a proper autumny theme. Because September in Japan is very hot still. So it doesn't, you know, sticking like autumn leaves down doesn't really make much sense. Um, October is very Halloween-y, so you could sort of decorate halloween -y. But November is like the month between Halloween and Christmas, where I, I think I can sort of really go with the autumn theme. So I'm going to probably do that, I think. So that's my plan. Um, I might do a little bit of decorate with me now, um, which I'll speed up for you to look at. Um, oh, I'll just show you the monthlies, which again, plain, really practical. I don't, I didn't decorate them while we were away. They were just used as reference. So I might decorate November. I'll see how I feel. All right. So that's enough wittering from me and I hope everybody's well. And I would love to see your Hobbany two weeks and how you're doing them. Um, so if anybody has any um, Hobbany two videos that you recommend, please let me know in the comments because I'd love to have a look at them. OK, that's enough from me. So <laughs> bye bye.
Okay, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Um, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope to see you all again very soon. Um, okay, take care. Bye.